Hi, uh, Sean Duffy with Med Gadget. I'm here at TED Med with Dean Kamen, and yesterday Dean just gave a spectacular talk on some of the stuff he's been up to in water purification, um, prosthetics, and education. So uh, we got uh, Dean here today to maybe just chat with us a bit about some of the work he's doing in education. Um, on Med Gadget, we previously covered his new upcoming show, The Dean of Innovation. I think it's a great opportunity for kids to get really excited about science. Um, so Dean, if you could just quickly describe kind of the idea behind the show and what your goals are with it. Um, and where you think you're going to take it. So. I'm happy to do that. Do I talk to you or do I talk uh, The camera's fine. Okay. So the whole reason I did the Dean of Invention was because Planet Green and Discovery said if I help them with bringing these kinds of uh, exciting, really exciting technologies uh, to these programs, they would help me promote first. And it, to me, it was a win-win because by the time we finished talking about what the show would be about, I kept saying, look, there's lots of great technology out there, but what we need to really do, and that's what we do at first, is put a human face on the technologist. We need to show kids, particularly women and minorities, that science isn't some abstract thing that they do, that nobody's ever met. They. And kids can relate to Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James, or Britney Spears. They can relate to young, enthusiastic people that they see every day in media, but they never see young, enthusiastic scientists, engineers, inventors that can inspire them. They never see people and say, I can do that. And in reality, science and engineering and inventing is way more accessible, way more likely to lead to a career than bouncing a ball or most of the other things uh, that, frankly, our culture just drowns these kids in. So to me, the choice to do Dean of Invention was <coughs> simple. It was based on two things. We're going to put a human face <coughs> on all sorts of technology because we're going to show the people that helped create it or are in the midst of creating it. And again, in return, once we have the, the power of television for these ideas, we will uh, sprinkle on top, whether it's through advertising or through some of the episodes themselves, we will sprinkle in and throughout the show uh, what FIRST is all about and how to get involved in FIRST and why these kids ought to be involved. And uh, at least so far, it looks like it's working. Uh, the places we visited uh, to do the show, in each case, we found some spectacularly passionate scientists and engineers, and doctors, that kids will certainly relate to at a very, very visceral level, the way they relate to rock stars and athletes. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten some great corporations, like J.C. Penney, to put ads uh, throughout the uh, episodes, and the ads are very specifically to help bring awareness to the first uh, organization that the kids are to get involved. Yeah, I mean, we think the work you're doing is really cool, and all of the TED Med talks will be up online. And once they are, you absolutely need to watch Dean's. Um, you know, even outside of the education world, it's got some really innovative ideas. Um, you know, one that really struck me was with first uh, having kids sell alternative uh, or sell LED light bulbs as a form of engagement with the community and to help spread the branding of first and fundraise for the robotics competition. I think that's really smart and you're doing some awesome things in education. We really appreciate that. So, yeah, thanks for chatting with us. I, I think light bulbs will be for the 21st century first yep. kids, what cookies were to the 20th century Girl Scouts. Exactly, yeah. that's fine. Really great idea, so thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank you.